Daydreaming. Daydreaming. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Hey, daydreamers, we got uh, a very talented, so funny, kind, sweet man for you today. His name is Mel Rodriguez, and he's been on such shows as uh, On Becoming a God in Central Florida, Getting On, The Last Man on Earth, Overboard, Better Call Saul, The Watch. He's incredible. Here he is, Mel. What up, Mel? What's happening? What's up, hey. Ned? How are you? What's up? I'm good, man. You can uh, hear my kids in the back. Yeah, that's cool. You're that's right cool. on. You might hear my cats. Oh, uh, cool. I don't have kids yet, but you might hear my cats meow. You're so, married though, right? I am married, yeah. So I met your wife. Yeah. With, yep. That's that's we that's for that's how we first met. You and your wife. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. She was up there visiting. Uh, yeah. We we me and Mel ran into each other in uh in Vancouver at the famous Sutton Hotel where a lot of actors stay. It's kind of like a Hollywood Disneyland for actors. <laughs> Disneyland <laughs> Hotel. It really is. Yeah, it's, it's like a little community commune of actors. Um, yeah, uh, that was cool. That was really, I was really excited because I was, I think I was like binging the show a ton and, and just to see you uh, come out of the elevator or be on the elevator with you, I was just like, whoa, he's so funny. And what I really love about your acting, and I was telling my wife this, I love how you're so subtle, but it, it, it rings so deep. Like there's so much emotion there. You could just say anything and it's like, it's beautiful. So I uh, commend you on that. That's, thank that's you. Well, that's you just had so such cool. nice things to say. And I, you know, when you approached me, you were, you just had this kindness about you. And it was, oh, yeah. And this and and this um and I just remember a, a really tall the really tall guy just approaching me and I and and and, 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 and but very incredibly kind and very tall you're just like whoa who's like, this <laughs> <freak?"> <laughs> like, who's this and, Sasquatch uh, and I a was, redwood I was like uh, I, I was just like uh, hey. I, yeah. I, I, Honestly, I, I thought I, I could, young Joey Ramone was like approaching me. Yeah. Yeah. And right, I, right. Yeah, and, I get that a lot. I get sure. Joey and Nick Drake. Yeah. But speaking of trees, did you go to um, the, in Vancouver, they have the, I can't yes. remember what it's called, but oh my God, it's like tree houses. Those yeah. Gigantic sequoias. Yeah. But did you climb the ladders and, and all that stuff? I didn't, but I have okay. pictures of me hugging them <laughs> hugging them. <laughs> and nice. and it's just pretty unbelievable they're giant they're been and I, I rented a bike for a, a couple of days you know in that that one um, park yeah uh, and it, they were just they're unbelievable they're unbelievable they're just, aren't they they're yeah. incredible I mean yeah. they're they're just the best I love them yeah um, yeah, they're really tall. Um, but yeah, so that was really fun that uh, we ran into each other. I love uh, The Last Man on Earth. So so tell me a little bit about um, how you how you became an actor, how you got into acting. What was like, who was your influence? What was like the trigger for you? For me, it was um, seeing Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura kind of a, a you know some of the comedy is very outdated and that but um yeah so uh was there a moment in your life where you were just like whoa uh i need to do that yeah um i think for me it was kind of like a way in in, in a, a way out it was kind of an escape um yeah i was as a kid i was just i, I think i was really kind of lost and um there was um i really didn't know what i wanted to do and um mm -hmm. and there was a uh 
a, te a teacher. I didn't have really many interests at all. I was just kind of a kind of a screw up. <laughs> and, oh, I'm sure. I, and I, I had a, a teacher who really, God bless teachers. Yeah. Who, you know, and she, yeah. she, she told me I was, she, she told me I was good at something and she took an interest in me and, and we started doing this play called the inner circle, which was about AIDS awareness. And there oh, was wow. a guy named Pedro Zamora. Okay, and cool. He was one of the first. Um, he was one of the first members on the cats of uh, the real world, or of the one of the first uh, uh, real worlds. And uh, he was um, the, the the real world San Francisco, who had, uh -huh. and he had um, uh, he he had AIDS. The play was about AIDS awareness. Right. We got um, we got uh, to. We were able to tour with the show, and I remember, you know, my my I grew up in this kind of tough neighborhood and stuff like that, and and uh, I wanted to, I I always wanted to be like kind of like those guys, you know, like just kind of like being like a tough guy and you know, kind yeah, of like gangster dude, and um, and I didn't I didn't have that in me really I, I really didn't and uh, right and um, I know what you mean like as I. You I go out for for bad guys and like I can't do it. It's really <laughs> awkward. Just like, yeah, yeah. um, that yeah, we're just yeah, we're we're pretty gentle guys, yeah. And so, um, and uh, and after after we did, we went to do the show at the Dade County Jail, and um, this one guy that I had always kind of looked up to um said um managed to uh convince the correctional officer that i uh that i was his cousin and he was kind of all teared up and he said um you know he said hey mel and i this was somebody i really looked up to and he said hey mel he said he said um he said look he said Doug, you know they they say you know that i i hurt somebody really bad you know like i killed a dude and i'm gonna go up state for a long time oh wow and uh you know i wanted, really wanted to be a singer but my dad you know wanted me in the business meaning selling drugs yeah. you know and um but he said you know singing was for fags oh gosh yeah, yeah. and uh and he said, dude, take what you got, man. Get get the fuck out of here. Jeez. Sorry. No, it's all right. Yeah. I was like, wow. And I just, and he was, you know, he was like, all, he was really choked up. He was this tough guy, like all choked up telling me this. And I just like, was like, okay. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. Wow. And I did. Wow. That's incredible. And, it wasn't always, you know, easy, you know, it wasn't, but I, but I did, I just, I, I really, that was, that was kind of the pivotal point in my life where I was like, all right, that this is what I'm going to do. This is, this is what I'm going to do, you know? Wow. Yeah. That's, that's incredible. That's amazing that you were just able to uh, just make that transition and just, just go for it. Cause that's a hard thing to do. People are afraid to do that. So I commend you on that. Um, so, so after that, um, how, okay. How did you, how did you get into acting? Like how, um, like, uh, did you start, you know, going out on auditions? Cause that's what we do. Uh, obviously, did you get headshots? Like, how did you, uh, how'd you get into that? So then I was just like, okay, yeah. I know what I want to do with my life, which is a, yeah. just like a, a blessing, really, because you know, yeah. you know, you know, like I had, yeah. I, I had complete focus and I knew this is it. This is my purpose. I know this is what I want to do. Um, and, you know, you meet people sometimes who just, you know, don't, don't really, you know, ever. And, um, yeah. 
and I, um, and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I was just like, oh, you know, that's it. I know exactly what I wanted to do. And I, um, I got a, um, um, I was able to get this uh, uh, scholarship to, um, to this, to this uh, arts college in Miami. Um, and uh, so I was, in, I was in high school, but I wasn't really digging high school a lot. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna drop out of high school. And it's hard, man. I I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't I just couldn't do algebra yeah. had me stumped, man. It really <laughs> did. And I just I couldn't wrap my brain around I, I'm not a math dude. And I just couldn't I couldn't wrap my brain around it. And I Well, yeah, like when do you ever use algebra? <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> but they have class like in money management or like, you know, like real world stuff. Yeah, I wish I because that kind of stuff I would I would apply to my life, you know, like how yeah. to balance a checkbook, how to balance, like how to pay your bills, yeah. your, you, you know, like stuff you actually use in your day to day life. Um, What's funny to, is they actually have that now for kids. Like, they do? That's yeah, great. like back in my high school, I visited and they had a whole class that was like how to manage money and how to like how to invest. And I was just like. Wait, what? fantastic! Yeah. That's that's wonderful. See, yeah, that, yeah. That's the kind of thing I wish. Yeah, yeah. Like you, how to how to, how to like how to day trade. Yeah, that would have been fantastic. <laughs> how to, I don't know if there's buy, day trading. Huh? I, bet, I mean, that would be, that would be great though. Yeah, that would know? be awesome. That would be very cool. Yeah. So, um, how to, wow. how to buy and sell Bitcoin? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really into the Bitcoin right now. Are you really? Yeah, I, I, I bought some a few months ago, and I'm just like, Man. whoa. <laughs> yeah, good for you. It's not really that good. much, but you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. great. Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you? Do you invest in stuff? Like, are you an investor? Um. I, like love I see you have artwork. a lot of artwork back. There. I love buying. Yeah, that, that's that's my big invest because I feel like it's something that I can appreciate. Yeah, and and, and I I tend to have a pretty good eye for stuff. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't really doesn't matter if it increases in value or not. But I I actually the stuff I do buy actually has appreciated quite a bit. Wow, that's great. And, and so, um, and so um, but. It doesn't matter to me if it does or not. I get to enjoy it, and my little girls get to grow up around art, which is yeah. a big deal for me. Yeah, I want them to. I want them to. I know how the images I grew up around as a kid made such an effect on me. That, yeah, and they they're kind of imprinted in my in my brain and in my oh yeah for sure my, my yeah. psyche in some way that I just feel like. That that they will have those things, really. So so like all my walls kind of like look like like this, and there's not there's yeah, really, you know, no, no space on any of the walls in the house. Like there's wow. just it's all it's all art. That's awesome. Yeah, I love that. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> I love art. Yeah, my mom my mom's a painter. Like oh uh, wow yeah, I grew up around art. I do artwork. Um, I love painting. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's think, awesome. Yeah. Um that's, I think I've seen I've seen some of your stuff is really great. Oh, actually, thanks. Yes, I have. That's right. Thank it's, you. I love your stuff, actually. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, do you do you uh do you dabble in painting? I do because my dad was a painter, a house painter, but he also oh, wow. he also Ooh. like he also painted stuff. He was really, really good, self self-taught. Yeah. And his dad, um, my dad's Cuban, who grew up, he was born and raised in Cuba. And his dad was very macho too, and was like, "You're not going to school." You know, he got he got offered a scholarship to go to uh, art school in Havana, and he was like, "Oh wow!" It's like, that's men don't go to art school. Yeah, oh, man, it's such a like such a yeah. macho cult culture, or you know, it was kind of a macho culture. Um, and you know, you work, you do this. Like that's not a man. Like that's not 
it's not a trade you know it's not a trade it's not something that you yeah. do make money like it was one of those things that like really um growing up i didn't think that and like you know like, yeah who's laughing now <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. also I mean, I'm reading. I'm reading this great book. Yeah. That you would like. Um, it's called the Book of Dares. I don't know if you've heard about it, but mm. that's what it's about. It's about like you know young boys growing up and you know kind of changing the culture of yeah being being put in a man box and kind of breaking out of that and being like authentic in yourself and like you know like uh you know painting and writing poetry and you know. Ex express those things because it's so great you know, man. support yeah. women and what they say and listen to their yeah. ideas and you know like i just feel like it, i'm so glad things are changing because they should um but yeah uh so yeah i i understand what you're saying with with because you know as a kid i was you know bullied for, for you know you know like they didn't know this but i'd like I'd like make perfume for my mom. Like just, I did too. I did too. You know I, mean? I did too. There was this, I had, we had this little like a uh, uh, midnight Jasmine stuff, for my mom and a uh, bush in the, in the, uh, in the backyard, you know, those little, they smelled so good. And I would like crush them, crush it up. Yeah. Water in it and make perfume for my mom. I love doing stuff like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's cool. Uh, There's, I mean, I, I love embracing the, I, I love, I love embracing like my feminine side. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Same All way. of us have that in us and yeah. Or so guys are so afraid to like, to, 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 to embrace that side of themselves, you know? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with, there's with nothing. That. It's like the best. It is. It's great. Yeah. yeah to say I love you to another, like, like to say, I love you. I, I say, I love you to all my friends. Yeah. All my guy friends. I do. And I love hugging yeah. and I love like, you know, I love, I love all, I love all that stuff. That's why I was like with Will, it was always so funny. It was like, we, we talked about like, you know, the friendship kiss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were like, it was like on last man on earth. We yeah. Like, it's like people are gonna really freak out about the friendship kiss. And I was like, good man, let them freak out about the friendship kiss. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was right, like, right. you know, like you know, like girls girls do that kind of thing all the time, you know. And I think it's probably why like like girls live longer and stuff. Right, right. Definitely. They're just, yeah. They're just, they're not all pent up and like I gotta be a dude, man. You know, I gotta be all like, you know. I gotta chop wood and yeah, you know, yeah. kill animals. And yeah. Fight. Right. Yeah. Well, wow. so did you? Uh, did you have any other hobbies growing up? You mentioned making perfume. Did you? But did you have any like other hobbies? Well, a lot of the art I collect is street art. And uh, oh, yeah. that's because as a kid, I really loved, I, and as an art, I really loved, uh, I was kind of really into like break dancing and like graffiti and stuff like that. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that's so awesome. I, really, I really liked, um, uh, when I was really young, I um, was really into like um, like the the crews and the pop, pop and lock in and stuff <laughs> that's awesome and and um getting up tagging and all that stuff and but, but mo really i liked really what i really loved was doing like pieces you know um yeah and so yeah i i i i i, I i'm a big fan of um of uh street art that was that was that was like and i yeah and so the, the music the hip-hop culture the, all that stuff yeah that was i was really big into that oh that's awesome that's yeah. cool yeah um so for uh last man on earth uh what was the audition process for for that what was that like like uh, 
through your agents. Or... That was pretty cool because because um uh, Will Will um w Will Forte and I um we had worked together on this movie called The Watch, and yeah, uh, and so good. We, we spent a lot of time together in in Atlanta, and I didn't have any lines in that movie at all, though. Like um, I played right. this guy named Chucho, and he was Sergeant Bressman, and I was basically like his sidekick who didn't say anything at all. I think until like the lat the end where I said like, where like something happens and I just say, oh shit, you know? <laughs> right. And, and um, you can say bad words on this, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, um, and so, uh, so we, we like, we had, we had, we had such a good time there and became really close, kind of close, close buds. Um, Cause we were out there yeah. for like two, two two or three months and oh, wow. uh, have a, i have a funny funny story a little anecdote from the time we were down there but um anyways so we uh, he he knew me from that and then as he was developing this show he was like it's like i know who would be perfect for this role you know yeah I, he was like he was like because i guess Todd was this really like just nice guy, you know. And right, right, yeah. He was just this, yeah. just kind of like, I guess he was just kind of like me, you know. From what, yeah, he, you know. But he didn't know if he, he was like, he's. So he called me this one day, and he was like, he was like, you don't have to do anything. Like you just, just be you. You know what I mean? Like it's just you. You know what I mean? I kind of like wrote it for you, but it, you know, but. Um, like you don't do, just don't do anything you know what I mean right and like he was like I wrote it like for you so it's like it's just it's just you dude and he was like right, right, I didn't know right. if I could act really because I didn't say anything in the watch <laughs> so, so he's like like I mean he's like I hate doing this but like um would you mind like oh god I hate like would you mind reading like you know and so I was like dude i of course not i was like i'll read and he was like yeah. you know so so i i i he was like because i think he was scared if i whether or not i could just be me you know what i mean oh right right yeah yeah, yeah. so he was and and so i went in and i and i read and he was like oh god mel oh dude oh thank <laughs> you so much man thank you he was like he was just that's all i wanted i just wanted you to be you Oh, thank you. And so, <laughs> and so that was the process basically was that him making sure that I could be me. Like, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Like, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of Todd in, in me and, you know, I'm, there's a lot of me and Todd. I can um, see that. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's great. That's awesome. So, uh, some of the scenes with me and him are were just so fun because that we were just just absolute morons <laughs> <together>. <laughs> which is what we act like when we get together which is <laughs> so moronic <laughs> he just had a baby man oh that's awesome yeah and, wow and we both Great. like He's not afraid to show his feminine side either. And we, we both and we and we both like got all choked up and yeah, yeah. And no, that's great. You know what I mean? Like men, men should be like. I feel like like it's really great. I, I like I I am such a like a weeper. Like I I yeah yeah. So Same here. Yeah, I cry at movies and like music will make me cry and. I love that. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Strong men cry too. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. So you okay? So you um. So that must have been an incredible uh experience. So you got cast. So what oh. was when you got cast in that? Uh, what what was there testing? Like what? what no, that, that was it. That, that was it. That was that was it. 
that was it. Yeah, he was. He was. Wow. He had kind of final say. And Fox had known me for for from some from other things that I had done. Yeah, he had known me from other things I had done, so they okayed me, and they were, um, which was cool. I mean, that, see that. I mean, that didn't happen overnight. You know, I mean, here's the here's the thing. It's like my career was a lot of like laying track, you know, and I and I had to realize that. And I guess for some anyone that's like listening who's kind of new and stuff like that, like like do not be discouraged, you know. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody said this once to me, and you know, we get we hear a lot of no's, you know. Yeah. And and really, um, that's not um we can't take that stuff personally because there's so many variables that have nothing to do with us really. yeah right right um you know it's because we're it, it has nothing to do with us it has to do with you know the the the, the lead being taller or the lead you know not yeah. some you know us not being this or that or just any 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 number of things that have absolutely nothing to do with our talent or or you know especially yeah. talent or you know what i mean right yeah and so but what we can do is always just do our best and 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 um and uh um and it's all laying track yeah that, that was the thing that I always, um, I remember a friend telling me that it was, it was, it was all laying track and that one day you, you'll realize how all the track comes together. And, and when it does, it's like, Oh wow. Yeah. You know? And so, yeah, that's beautiful. 10 years sometimes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 15 sometimes, but, um, yeah. But I had laid this track where I had done, you know, a couple of pilots that didn't go where it was like, ah, bummer, you know? Right, right. Yeah. Done a show earlier for Fox that went one season and then got canned, you know? Right, yeah. But they knew, you know, they knew me, you know? Right, and, right. Um, You're making fans. Yeah, I was making fans. Yeah. I was laying track. And so, yeah. Missed came along you know was they were like oh of course yeah we we know he can do do this he's that's awesome yeah we like him and he's 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 green lit like go ahead that's great yeah that's so cool um so it wasn't like i i, I just wanted to make clear that it wasn't just like oh yeah mel's a big star yeah sure go ahead yeah he's <laughs> he's he can he can go right in, you know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe. right, right. I had, I had earned, I had earned. Oh, I'd yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt in that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. So, um, so cool. So that's amazing. So what did you, um, so, oh, I want to ask you about Last Man on Earth. Um, yeah. um, so the season kind of end with like a huge, uh, like, like you didn't know what was going to happen and I'm wondering <laughs> what happens when, when they, that whole thing with in the ground at the very end, these no. people come out of the ground. What, what happens? I, don't, I have no idea. I don't know. Like, I think, okay, okay. I think, and I think Will messes with people too. Cause he gives them all these, like, like what may have happened type of thing. I yeah. wish I knew. I have no right. idea. It's all oh, in. Wow. It's all, it's all what, maybe could have been and i and i wish i i wish i really wish we would have gotten like just maybe like six more episodes to play that out yeah you know or yeah. a something just yeah. just just it just ended so abruptly and it just on on i don't know it just it, it didn't we never we never we never got to like play that out at all it ended yeah. on such a like a questionable note. Um, so I I don't I have no idea. People oh, ask me that right. all the time. Oh, they do. Okay. Oh I'm yeah. I get, <laughs> no, 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 not at all, not at all, dude. No, 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 not at all. No, no, not at all. Only totally one of those like so funny, hardcore so fans. 
It's so what, funny. What happens, man? No, no, no. I know. <laughs> I, I like people. People, uh, and I'll 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 respond. The people ask me that like on on you know like I'll get these these like uh like you know question like you know the and the message boards on on Instagram and stuff like that. And yeah. Like, I wish I knew. I wish <laughs> I could tell you, God. I wish so badly. I, yeah. I, I wish I knew, like me, my personally, like you know. Yeah. I can share that with you, but I don't know. Uh, I wanted to mention too. Uh, congrats on CSI Vegas. Oh, so thank cool. You. That's yeah, so I'm awesome. excited. I'm, but yeah, I'm start filming that pretty soon. Uh, uh, May in May. May awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank That's you. So cool. That's yeah, awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm done the procedural before, so I'm gonna have to crush my, it. I'm gonna have to learn my my lingo. Oh yeah, you'll yeah. you'll do great. You're gonna crush it. Um, that's awesome. So, um, so okay. So, um, uh, man, I I love on becoming a god in Central Flor Florida. Uh, you're so good in that, Ernie, and also uh, Usman, who's in that too. He's incredible. Oh, he's um, so such a good guy too. Yeah, he's the best. Um, so uh. God, that's such a great what was that experience like working on that it was really great working with with beth and with um kirsten and with usman and being in new orleans was just a, a trip and the, and and i had my second kid there which was a trip oh wow yeah um so uh god that was such a wild experience um uh beth ditto played my wife and i i love her music and her as a person and um just it was i don't know he it, it was um he was a he was a really a kind of a he was kind of a um a really tortured soul you know oh yeah yeah Ernie, so yeah. it was a very I, I don't know it was a kind of a dark it was a bit a bit of a dark time oh, okay it was a bit of a dark time but but it was right. also kind of this a magical time in my life too because it was it was the, the birth of my daughter and it was um um but he was just such this he was just this such this tortured soul. He was so he was this which which I understand because I've been before, you know, kind of like this the 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 the, the smiling clown that's kind of like, you know, uh um you know, you, you, you know how I think guys like us sometimes on the outside will kind of be happy for everyone else and just put on a good face and then yeah, yeah. have stuff going on inside. And, oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, and that was that was Ernie. And, you know, but Ernie would always put on a good face just just to kind of, you know, be there for everybody else um meanwhile he was he was kind of falling apart inside and, right right and so playing him playing him was 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 kind of kind of rough because oh, okay yeah it, yeah it was it was it was it was, it was uh, he was such a sad dude man he was such a sad dude yeah going and going from todd where todd was just you know pretty he had that positive kind of had a positive right right on everything and yeah to to ernie where he was really he's he's kind of a he was kind of a dark dude man. um was yeah well you, you played it incredibly i mean you're acting thank is flawless yeah thank you, man thank so you good. so um uh tell us about getting on what was that experience like oh man that that was like doing theater again because I went to, you know, I went, I went to school in New York. I went to SUNY Purchase for four years for theater arts. And oh, wow. 
so that's where I got my start I was in the theater. Nice, nice. And that was just, you know, working with Laurie and Metcalf and 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 Alex Bornstein and and Niecy Nash and those girls just. It was just a. It was and. It was like doing. It was just like doing theater. I mean, we really, we, awesome. and we really did work it like theater. Like on 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 Mondays, we'd take the script and we'd have we'd be uh, we'd be pretty much off book, and we would rehearse it like a play, and on Tuesdays we would run it with the with we would run the whole thing with the with the with the cameras like a play, and then yeah. Wednesdays we would start to shoot the whole thing and some of the takes would be three four five minutes long and we would just move around with the camera and, the, and it was a it was like a dance and it, wow. was, it was the closest thing to theater that i had ever done on film and That's so cool. it was so cool man it was so That's cool awesome. and watching and 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 watching the other and and being part of it and not just doing it but being a part of it and watching the other actors do their stuff was just magical man i mean lori was like unbelievable and working with alex and having that like relationship it was just this like we realized like like that we were we were we were grown-ups but i think i think I think mentally, I think mentally, we probably had like the, we probably had the, 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 the we probably had the, the, the mental capacity of like maybe like eight or nine year olds, and we were trapped in like forty something year olds' bodies, and, yeah. but, it was just. It was just so, I, it, I don't know. Me and Alex still talk about it. Like we'll, 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 we'll never. I don't, I don't know if we'll ever do anything like that again. Wow. Yeah. It was. It was really something special, man. Well, you're something special. <laughs> <laughs> you're awesome. You're such a How great actor. Um, that's awesome. Uh, so. So, okay, so someone that's getting into acting, you gave good advice about laying track, yeah. laying your track, but what else would you tell them to, if they want to follow their dreams? What would you say to them? Um, really, really um, keep your chin up and don't, you know, don't really, don't take, don't take any, that, that main thing is just like, don't, don't, don't take things personally, especially the no, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, and make it about, make it about the work. Um, and when you, and, and think of this, to try to think of this thing as, try to try to think of this thing i and i've tried to do this the most it's like try not to over glamorize it if you can yeah as best you can and try to think of it as a trade as much as you can um I like so that. that um you don't get into all this other junk um and so i've always tried to think of it as you know i'm i'm a carpenter going to work you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm I like going, that. and I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm, 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 or I'm a mason, you know, and I'm laying brick, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm just, and I'm just, I'm just a guy that's, you know, you know, you know, chopping wood and carrying water, and and and. And, and a worker amongst workers and trying, you always try to keep, stay humble and keep your feet on the ground and not get too big or too small or just right. stay, stay just humble. humble. Stay yeah. humble. Yeah. Um, Cause anything else can get you in trouble or, yes. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, but the, I think the main thing is 
that I've learned throughout um, this whole time is to be like, is just that, that all of this thing happens on the universe's time, you know? It, and 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 in and in between jobs, um, in between jobs, um, don't wait, prepare. Yeah. And when you do have those auditions, they don't treat them as auditions. Somebody, this clicked for me really big. Like, treat those auditions as jobs. Like they're they're like yeah. They're, go in there and shoot it yeah you know I mean? like yeah like you're 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 going in there to you're you're going in there to like to to like you're like you're going in there to like do the job like you you've yeah, done the job already and you you're you're going in there to shoot shoot it you know what so I mean? true yeah. yeah i like that and also you know uh i love that I, I go into every audition like that as well. And also I go in as like, just think of it like you're doing it with a bunch of friends, like so yeah. you can kind of loosen up. Yeah, um, they want you. But they be want professional, you. but you know, obviously. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Because, they, because they want you to be, they want you to be the person. Yeah. Really it, you know? Yeah. They're on yeah. your side. They are. They are your friends, really. Yep. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. How do you How do you prepare for an audition? What do you? Um... I. God, I overly prepare. I, I. I. like. I. 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 I get. I. 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 I look for everything in. Usually, my first instincts are usually pretty good, you know, but I'll. Look, I'll, I'll extract everything I have from what I get. So I'll try to, you know, if I have, if I just get sides, I'll get the sides and I'll take all the information I can from the sides, you know? Yeah. Off, obviously I'll, I'll get off, I'll get, I'll get off the book. That's right. I need, yeah. I need to do that because I'm yeah. not good looking down at the page. Yes. So I'll get off book, but I will, um, um, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll s learn the other characters, n know the other characters lines as well, or, you know, and, but I'll also know, you know, what is the other character saying about me? What are other people yeah. saying about me? What are, what is the situation? You know, where, where am I, where am I coming from? What do I, what do I want? What, do, what are we doing here? All, all those things, all the, the simple, basic one hundred and one things. Never forget those. Those are, you know, those those very, very simple, basic things that sometimes we just forget. You know. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know, so I'm coming in here to do what I'm, I'm, I'm you know, and then, um, and then, and then, um, and then I'll, you know, I'll do research. Like, oh, okay, so if this is a person who uh who's directing it okay what is their style like or what, what are yeah. stylistically what do they you know you know i'll try to just get every kind every bit of information i possibly can about everything so that i can go in there and give this person what i think they need you know that's smart um that's awesome uh that's great yeah thank you for sharing that that's great. yeah so um uh so so you're working on uh what else are you working on right now what's what's uh, uh guess i vegas do you have anything else coming out soon that people can check out yeah well i've got um i've got a uh i've i, I did a thing with uh a couple of things like you know everything's non-disclosure forms oh like. yes yeah yeah, yeah. So, so i did a couple of things that that'll be coming out that i can't talk about okay that's fine that's yeah that's just, just, <laughs> but just keep mel on your radar that's yeah, all people keep, need to know please just yeah. do, like, keep me on your radar and 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 i'll be around i promise and then there's there's a uh, yeah and then and then uh there's something i'm really excited on that i'm working about working on about my about my uh about my life that uh that's awesome together and then and then um 
and then um yeah and then csi and then that's great, man. And well, I can't talk about it. And even then we can't, we, we, you know yeah. how, you know how it is. We can't talk about anything anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we can't yeah. talk about it. I know it's top secret. They'll come everything, after us. They'll come knocking on our door. Yeah. Um, the movie so said. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, yeah, the men in black will come after us. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so, okay. That's amazing. Uh, I, uh, that's great. So keep Mel on your radar. Uh, I really hope I get to work with you, Mel. I think you're so oh, talented, man. so funny and so sweet. So, um, so thanks for being on the pod is, so where can people find you on online? Uh, uh Twitter, uh, Instagram, where, uh, can they, where can they follow Mel? Uh, at, at real Mel Rodriguez dot, nice. uh, on Instagram and, um, yeah, and that I'm 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 not I'm not on Twitter as much anymore. It's gotten, oh, that's fine. It's gotten it's gotten pretty Very dark. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I am on there at right. Okay. At underscore Mel Rodriguez, and so you can you can follow me there too. But I probably won't get to you that quickly because <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll heart everything. Oh, but, I love that. Yeah, great. That's awesome. Well, uh, thank you so much, Mel. Have an awesome shoot in Vegas. Try not to gamble too much. No, no, it's it films here actually. It films. Oh, here. oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, it's 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 this for Vegas. Not to spoil anything or make their, right. Yeah, it's that's all it's all make believe. Okay, cool. <laughs> Well, I guess gamble all you want then. Yeah, the, yeah. The lottery so, machines that they have. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Thank you, man. Um, well, thank you so much, man. Um, and wishing you the best of luck in your career and all your <laughs> dreams. I hope they come true. Oh, man. Thanks, man. I back at you, brother. Yeah. Dang.